and turning now to the summertime winding down, it's time for local farmers and growers to start thinking about the next season. I spoke with a local farm today about the start of the fall and winter crop season. And then, yeah, and we always, July, August, September is so hard. Sal Sharp has helped with her family farm in Columbia since she was born and knows a thing or two about how to grow. What's great about South Carolina is that you can grow year-round. So she decided to keep the farm open for the Labor Day holiday to share some tips. I've killed a couple of plants, you know, in the beginning, but Sal got me straight, and so now <laughs> I'm able to tell other people, hey, no, you need to do this, don't do that. That's Anthony Lockhart. He's been working on a family garden this year and hopes to keep it going in the cold weather season. This, this is awesome. It's good to get back to the roots of things and uh, cook your own food. Be able to go shopping in your backyard. And on sale in just a few months will be those hardier fall and winter crops that Sal says she looks forward to every year. So we've got Swiss chard. Um, we've got different types of lettuces. Um, cabbage, collards, bok choy, um, pretty much all your greens, and then you can also plant sugar peas. And she expects this season will be better than the last. Right now, you need to keep your crops in the sun in the morning and then shaded when it's really hot from 12 to about 4, and then you can put them back out. And then just watch the temperature. When it starts getting into the 80s um, during the day, then that's more what they like so sal says as long as you understand the balance you'll be fully stocked for the cool weather and for a full list of what's in season you can visit our website at wltx.com to learn more about what will grow best right now and for advice on what exactly to plant and how to treat your plants you can go visit sal's old-timey feed and seed you just saw there that address is also on our website